Just look at all these delicious malts. Ready to be eaten up by my isopods. And one of the people who have molted is this little alien, which is my dead leaf mantis, Deraplatis desiccata. Just cleaning his chops after a little meal he's had. And I thought, you know what, let's give him or her a nice big new enclosure. Um, as we've moved this lady into her final habitat and freed up where she was living. She's also molted. I, can't, I don't think I said that actually. She molted like three days after I put her in here. So she now has her wings. Oh, delicious. So the plan is to revamp this enclosure, which I've already started doing, I've got everything out. Being a dead leaf mantis, I wanted to create a kind of similar aesthetic with lots of uh, dead leaves, funnily enough. I'll probably never be able to find this mantis now amongst all that stuff. So I had some bark, which I'd baked, and I basically just stuck a load of leaves on there. One thing that wasn't intentional actually, that uh, this really dark stuff here, that was ivy that was stuck to the bark and it was green but yeah baked it and it's gone that really nice brown colour now which suits this mantis perfectly and my plan is to kind of stick that to the back of that enclosure maybe put some more uh, bark around the edges and that should do it now it's a bit grubby this enclosure needs a bit of a wipe down I think it's got some uh, I don't know whether that's sick on the door there. Lovely. I will give it a nice spring clean and what I will use to do that is malt, malt vinegar? Not malt vinegar, don't use malt vinegar. It's white vinegar and that should be nice and acidic and help us to give that a bit of a clean down before the man himself goes in. Awesome, so that has been thoroughly cleaned and scrubbed down with white vinegar. Now it stinks, but we'll give it a day or so to air out anyway, because we're gonna silicone this to the back and it will need some time to cure. Don't know how toxic it is. Oh, it's not, well, it's not toxic, it's aquarium safe, so it's not toxic to any of the animals, but it smells so strong, it can't be good to you know put, put something in too soon. So we'll certainly leave it for a few days just to air out. I mean, I'm actually wondering if I need it at all. It might just stand up because the problem is that's so uneven it's going to be difficult to get it to stick anyway I could put a few blobs on I guess I can kind of see where the points are that it'll attach because it's stuck to the paper a bit when I was gluing this together try and slot this in probably gonna lose a few leaves in the process but that's okay That probably doesn't need silicone. It feels quite snug in there. Happy with that, that looks really good. My only slight concern is there is a bit of a gap up here. You'll probably see it better from the top. Kind of, there's quite a big gap there. I don't know if I should try and fill that in. I don't think he's gonna be trudging around trying to get get behind there or anything but just in case what I'll do just to put my mind at ease is we'll stuff some some moss up there just so I know then he's not gonna try anything on right I think that's about as well as good as I can do for blocking that off I don't think he's even gonna attempt any ab sailing down the back anyway, but at least now we know it's not even an option. Kind of what I wanted it to cover the whole side, but I don't think it's gonna be an option because it's not gonna be very easy to stick. And it's gonna uh, affect the amount of free space that we actually have in the enclosure if I put too much and it's coming off the side too much. So that will probably do. It's still quite a nice aesthetic having the bark kind of tapering downwards towards the front of the tank. Good thing about mantids as opposed to tarantulas is they're not going to tend to move anything. I mean if you had a tarantula in here it would probably rearrange the whole thing and move all these bits of bark but 
as there's not really any danger of that, I will leave it be rather than silicone it to the front. Awesome, so I like the look of that. I think the only thing that I might need now is just some more, or a little something at the bottom. I don't want too much because it gets a bit overcrowded otherwise, but I'm sure I can find something here in there. I quite like that. It doesn't detract too much, it matches the colours and it just looks like a big fallen seed pod or maybe a bulb sort of growing out of the ground. Got some bark chips in there but I don't want too much because again it will... they're a bit too light. I want it to look natural. So now I just need to find some dark leaf litter. I don't seem to have too much dark leaf litter. So I'm going to take a risk and put these oak leaves in. Do you know what? I don't think really that needs anything else. I think it'll get a bit too overcrowded if I put anything else in. And I'm a bit afraid to put too much leaf litter in because it's a bit light. Okay, good stuff. I'm going to leave this overnight now and then tomorrow I will come back and we can rehouse our Deraplatis desiccata dead leaf mantis. Apologies for the grainy quality on these next few clips. I forgot to set my camera to the correct settings. Cool, so it's the next day and enclosure is ready to be inhabited by this guy who's very keen to get inside I'm sure. So let's pop him out and have a look at him and then we can get him in his new home. So I know I don't really have like loads of subscribers or anything to be able to ask for stuff like this but if anyone's got any name ideas go for it because I struggle to come up with them when I've got so many and I just end up calling them him, her, it, whatever. I think the best names are kind of unisex names or names that are just ridiculous and don't mean anything like Captain Potato or Schnoodle Pips, Ball Bagger, something like that. But yeah, if you've got any suggestions, let me know. Come on out, you. Because I can't get in there to get you when you're at that angle. Don't bang your head. Let's have a look at you. Very handsome. Really cool, uh, the inside of his raptor arms there. Look at that, it's like really orange. Hope you can see it in this light. Love this little guy, he's awesome. But he certainly needs a name. Then yeah. Just look at those moves. Very handsome. What a poser. I was just getting some pictures, uh, some footage of him on this skull and look at him. Showing off. Okay, how are we going to get you in here then? Probably wants to get on the camera. Of course he does. Just don't pop on the lens. There he goes. I imagine he will probably chill out here for a little while until he gets his bearings. And then hopefully he's going to move to the back to enjoy the little area we've made for him. Should be so well camouflaged in there. I'll probably never find him ever again. He might even need another rehouse in the future but for now that should do him so we'll certainly check in on our friend here in the future like i said if you've got any name suggestions chuck them out there because he needs a name can't just be twig man forever twig man well that's what we're going with if nobody gives me a name twig man or twigman i like twigman 
But once again, guys, thank you for watching. Cheers for taking the time out of your day to share this interest. Hope you're all staying safe and I'll see you again soon.